Hello, what's up guys? I'm Kyle from KGR, and a viewer brought it to my attention that I forgot to make a video on Kakashi, so here's that video on Kakashi. This figure has been available to pre-order for a couple of weeks now, and a couple of sites have already sold out immediately because for some reason SH Figure Arts are selling out like crazy if it's not Dragon Ball Z. I have found some websites that are still doing pre-order, so if you want to look in the description, I'll have those listed. All of these sites I have in the description are places that I've ordered from myself and I've had no issues with them. But we're going to take a closer look at Kakashi and we're going to evaluate from there. And if you want to see more videos like this where I go over pre-orders and stuff like that in details, uh, make sure you like the video because it shows me that you want to see that. So I'll put more of an effort making these videos so that I don't try to forget about this thing for like two or three weeks. But anyway, let's look at Kakashi. If you're getting this directly from Japan, uh, he's going to be coming out around December. But on Big Bad Toy Store, they're still taking pre-orders, but they're not shipping out until February. But let's take a close look at this Kakashi because he looks beautiful. Now, I have the original Kakashi, and at that time, I thought it was a good-looking figure. I didn't like the hair all that much, but besides that, I thought it was well-built. This just blows that thing out of the water. One, the hair looks a crap ton better. I love it so much. And also, they add a lot of wrinkles to his costume. And it definitely, like, adds a good bit of realism. And it definitely sets some poses really well. And it makes things look a lot more dynamic. I noticed in this picture over here, for some reason, his face makes him look like he's very angry. And I feel like this is going to be his default face. And I noticed also, I'm not, it's really hard to tell in this picture, but I've noticed in other ones where if you zoom in on it, you can see there's like lines and stuff added to emphasize on the eyes. They've done that for these new Naruto figures and it looks fantastic. But Hiro Kakashi, it just makes him look very angry. And again, I love how like the wrinkles on the vest and the pants look, so it makes him look like he's more relaxed. And he also comes with one of his books. Uh, this book looks a lot bigger compared to the original one that we got with the first SH Figure Arts. Uh, the one that we got with that, I think, had like a green book. Uh, this is more of an orange one. So that's going to be cool to see. Um, I think the original figure didn't have any details inside the book, and I doubt we're going to get those details in this one either. And then we have a look of him doing a Sharingan, and you got that nice scar on him as well. And this is my biggest issue with this figure so far. Now, with the original Kakashi SH Figure Arts, it came with an effect part, but it looked like a water spike ball. It was really odd. It didn't match Kakashi. This, on the other hand, doesn't even come with anything, and I don't understand why. Because Naruto and Sasuke both came with their Rasengan and Chidori's. And we had other Naruto figures in the past come with Rasen Shuriken. So why they couldn't include a lightning blade here is beyond me. However, you're not completely out of luck. I pulled up a listing on eBay where uh, um, Tamashii Nations has a bunch of different effect parts. Uh, whether it be lightning, earth shattering, uh, some charging up like a Super Saiyan. They have a lot of cool effect parts if you haven't seen those. So this would go really well with Kakashi, especially this piece right here. So if you want to get these, I'll also provide that in the description as well if you want to grab that. But I think it's not right with the fact that you gotta buy this thing separately. That's probably gonna be the biggest flaw in that review, but for the most part, it looks like a solidly built figure. This is probably one of my favorite poses that they've shown off on here because one, I love the fact he comes with a face where his eyes are closed. I wish Naruto would have came with that as well, but it's fine. And again, when he's like crouching, you can also see all the wrinkles in the vest. And again, it just adds to the scene. It adds to the realism. It, like, it definitely like brings it all together and sells you on it. And I noticed Naruto and Sakura and now Kakashi have these eyes. And I love the fact that he's going to be uh, doing the, the one forbidden jutsu. It brings me back to one of the scenes from the Naruto Storm 2 game. I love it so much. And then we just get another dynamic pose. And again, with the bottom of his vest like being a separate piece, it allows him to have that better ab crunch. Like It's going to be a fantastic figure. However, I am a little bit confused on how the face is going to look. So as you can tell, when it comes to the headband, you can see how it can be either straight or... Or you could have it being sideways or like slanted like that. Like it's just what Kakashi does. Now with the original figure, they had it as two separate head sculpts for the most part. So it would be from the headband and the hair. That would be its own separate piece. And then you got to attach on the faces later. 
I hope they don't do anything like that because trying to swap out those heads was such a nightmare and I hated it so much. But in this description, it says how it comes with three optional expressions with the headband up and then two of them with the headband down. But it doesn't really show us or explain to us how exactly that's going to work. So that's another major thing I'm worried about for this figure. I'm going to be doing a review on this, so if you want to see my review on that, make sure you subscribe for that, because when this figure comes in, I'm going to be covering it as soon as possible. Although Kakashi does look really cool, he does look like he's going to disappoint with the fact that he has no lightning blade, and I'm very, very concerned how that head's going to work out. So let me know in the comments, do you plan on picking this up yourself, or are you going to wait until reviews go up? If you want to pre-order this, again, the links will be in the description on where you can pre-order them. And these are all places that I've shopped at myself, so I've had no issues with any of these guys. But thank you for watching. I love you guys to death. And if you're new and you like what you saw, you know what to do. In the description, there'll be places to pre-order as well as my social media if you want to follow my Instagram or anything. And again, thank you for watching. I love you guys to death, and I'll see you on the next one. So peace, peace.